It is four o'clock at Quilt Beginnings. And my computer is thinking and trying to figure out if it's live. <laughs> okay, it thinks we're live. Here are some beautiful t-shirt quilts, scarlet and gray, ready oh. for graduation. Actually, I don't know when Ohio State's graduation was, or is. I think it was, it was graduation week, because okay. Tammy wore her OSU. Okay, so we're, we're, maybe we're a week late. Maybe we're a week or two late, but we have, um, we're gonna have some really nice t-shirt demo um, in a little bit. Just wanted to have something pretty to show off. All right, well, we are tr we're trying out a new set of technology today. So, um, yes, if there's any kind of mishaps or sound going weird or camera doing weird things, you can't, oh good, you can hear me. Oh, thank you, Linda. Hi, Barb, we are live. Oh, here's an iron. Okay, so I'm holding a camera here. Let me show you guys. This This is us live, and this is me holding the webcam. So it's a little bit like patting my head and rubbing my stomach. So I'm gonna try not to get too wild and crazy. Um, but I do want to show you guys before we get too far into anything else. I'm going to try to scroll. Hi, Pat. Okay, so we have some really nice new collections. Um, just wanted to give you guys a flavor of what we're getting in. Um, this is, let's see, it is called Loose Leaf. So just some really rich pinks and oranges, these beautiful leaves. So this is where my webcam is like putting a blue tint on things. So I promise you they are actually really beautiful pink, um, magenta, deep, deep, deep colors. Come on. Yes. Just a lot of lovely bolts. I think that this one is phenomenal. Um, really love the texture in this fabric. And then some nice deep teal and turquoise that kind of goes with that whole collection. So this is loose leaf. It just came in hot off the press. Um, we have not even put it on the floor yet. Actually, its first stop was here for Facebook Live to visit with you guys. So let's see, we've got another hot off the press collection. Coming over here, just again, some beautiful things. Um, this is the painterly, let me see, what are they called? Yes, painterly petals. Whoops, so we have had these before. They were actually a little bit of a smaller scale before. So they're like, um, what are they called? Impressionist, impressionist um, inspired. So like Monet's watercolors, the painterly petals. Um, just think that they're really a nice scale. They kind of increased their size a little bit. Um, and we have, there's about 20 or so, 24 bolts of this collection. I love this one. Again, it's like just, just watercolors, right? Just really nice um, impressionist flowers. I always loved impressionism. Um, really lovely bolts. So we are waiting on a couple of more bolts and then these are going to be out on the floor um, so you can come see the whole collection and see them in real color. This is just a little, yeah, Kathy took her phone away this week. So we're using this, this webcam and let us know how it looks. I don't know if it's just me or, um, I don't know. We're experimenting. We're trying something different. All right, so what else? There's just a couple other really cool things. Let me zoom over this way. So this panel just came in. Oh my gosh, I think it is stunning. Let's see if I can get my cord to cooperate. Uh, there it is. Just, just that dimensional, really, really cool dimensional panel. Um, this is from Northcott. It's called Kaleidoscope. Um, so we've got the panel and what's so neat with this one is that it came with about six different really really cool patterns so i'm going to try to bring them over without making you guys dizzy all right so here let me i'm not i'm not facing my camera right now here we're going to put them right over here so this is the fractures quilt to kind of go with that 
And we have underneath this pattern, we've got the border. So this border print is actually um, running yardage. So let me just kind of show you that. We've got running yardage on this bolt, multicolored, the green, blue, yellow, and pink stripes. Um, the fabric really does all the work for you with this kind of with this kind of bolt. I love it. So again, that's kind of what makes so really just a panel and the border is going to make this quilt really stand out. And then a couple of solids for those pinwheels. So that is a really neat thing. Again, we got these patterns in yesterday. Um, two of them are going to be made into samples. They got snapped up. So I know these are going to fly off quick. This supernova star. Um, again, the, this fabric, this running yardage really does all the work. So you just, I think that there's some fussy cutting involved, but otherwise you just put the diamonds together and really a stunning, stunning way to, to view it. I'm going to scroll down see if I've got, oh, we've got a, awesome. I'm so glad that you guys are saying it all looks great and that it's a bigger picture. That is really exciting. We might have to hold on to our webcam going forward. So iridescence, actually, so, okay, let me, I got these out of order here. So this is not with the panel. Um, we got a really bright collection called Mix Masters Mashups. Um, I don't have them back here, so you'll have to come in and check them out. Um, we did just send out an email today that has a picture of those, some of those bolts, um, but just some nice brights, so a fun, fun pattern to feature those kind of another another fun pattern we just thought these brights and these rainbows were so cheerful um i remember kathy looking through these patterns and like every single one was like oh my gosh that is also super dramatic just would love to see it made up um excited to get some of our samples back i think this one's so fun too both the black and in the white rolling around so snowball blocks um just really Really a fun time. It's not winter anymore, but you can still make snowball blocks. All right, and then one more. This one, again, uses this running yardage here, so the fabric really does all the work. Um, Judy, our Bargello queen, is making the sample of this one um, with that gray background. I think it's going to just be really, really stunning. So really some fun stuff. Um, you guys are going to have to come in and see it. And now we're going to zoom back over here on my little cart, back into our t-shirt area. So we have a special guest today, Miss Lisa. Let's see. The, there you are. Hey, there she is. Hi, everybody. All right. So Lisa has um, always been our t-shirt quilt expert. And After Sue Powers. Yes, well, we always yes, need one on staff at yeah. least. Yes. So um, you'll be teaching T-shirt quilt basics again. Yes. This summer. This summer sometime. Yeah. One of those months. Yes, one of those months. I don't know when. We haven't okay. set it up yet. Oh, okay, I should I actually will. look at the camera. There we go. You're looking at the camera. I wasn't holding it very well. Okay. All right, so Lisa's going to just give us a little bit of an intro to T-shirt quilts. Okay. All right, everybody. These are two um, samples that I brought in. This is my most recent and probably the most um, complicated that I've made. Um, as you can see, I appliqued, kind of appliqued this leotard onto um, actual fabric. And you can kind of see the integrity of that leotard. So um, I will show you how to use SF-101 and put it behind it and, and just basically applique it on. You can see where I stitched it on to that square and then I made a final cut um here's another leotard that i just sort of applique on it kept the integrity of that you know leotard look um i love this pattern it's called city blocks because it gives you the ability to use these small little blocks for something that's small either on the back or on the sleeve Sometimes um, you have something kind of narrow here and you can put it in one of those slivers right there in that block. Same thing with this one. Um, this one, I just built a block around it. So it just, you know, gives you, it's a format or it's a pattern that you can just kind of build from, if that makes any kind sense. Kind of a free form yes. way to do it. Yes. 
this one was actually I think on a sleeve so it just kind of gives you some ideas and that's what I'm here for too is to fill, facilitate your thinking process and give you some ideas um, this one was Tanner's I made his before hers um, but he's a baseball player of course you can tell so most people have this stitch right in their uh, machine fairly new machines and I just made baseball stitches here here and I just put it every once in a while again this was on a sleeve so that's why I like this pattern so much you can just do so much with it so um, yeah I made and I'll show you how to this the same same technique for this behind a collar or anything like that and so I'm going bigger to smaller so here's something that's sort of in process. One of these days I'll get this one done. Mm -hmm. But this one looks really familiar. I've seen it <laughs> in a couple of your classes. <laughs> yeah, I keep bringing it to class because, um, you know, I just never get to it. Well, they say but, they love your t-shirt quilts, by the way. You're getting oh, lots of love in the comments. Oh, good, yeah. good, good. Love you too. So I try. But it's I'm here to facilitate your thinking. And I've had some students who've come back and they've just taken this ball and ran with it so I am so proud of all of them so um, so th again this was on the back this was on a sleeve um, you know so I just try to use really that and here's the rows the Oops, so go. yeah and I've got them marked I I'll get them together one of these days you just and have to keep teaching class so you keep building on it. Yes. <laughs> In every class true. you do another little row. That's true. For example. And you don't always have to have these horizontal if you have something that's kind of vertical. Like I wanted to showcase this um, jellyfish. You know, so I put these oh. vertical. So, and I put, you know, some applique behind that collar. And I'll show you, a, talk to you about that in just a bit too. So... Hopefully that's giving your creative juices flowing. Again, I'm going to use this ruler, Ooh. and I'll just kind of, you know, see how I, I just made it sideways. So which ruler is this? This is the 11 and a half inch. So your block will finish at 11 inches. Nice. Okay. And I did convert to 12 and a half inches, too. You would be amazed at how much room 12 and a half inches gives you. Yeah, there's a lot of math in the converting, so you've done that work <laughs> for us. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. So, yeah, and one of my poor students had to copy this. And so she oh, that's did. right. Here's Lisa's <laughs> wonderful notes. So when you take class, you get the benefit of all of her yes. math work. Oh, yes, I try. So, okay, so I'm going to break this down then. We're going to, oh, you need... Um, a pressing sheet. I love this applique pressing sheet. I was going to bring you the actual package, but they're gone, of course. And so I like to use this in case I want to iron my t-shirts. I was ironing this t-shirt and I spilled water all over the place. But anyway. Oh I know one of our irons <laughs> didn't have its lid on and we were just pouring water back so here. Funny. So, you know, it's nice to, you know, I don't know what this stuff is. You know, it's kind of like an ink. That's, that's not that rubbery stuff, but on this one it is so I use this pressing sheet to press that part out so um, so I, I I'm gonna start with this one and you will need SF 101 but I'll get to that in just a second um, what I like to have my students do is assess every t-shirt and decide what you want to use there's nothing on this on these sleeves, nothing on the back. So I am just gonna make a quick cut. Whoa! Yep. That was quick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's kind yeah. Of normal. After a while you get used to just slice them slicing them up. And I wanna get it to a single side. Alright, so you're just cutting the seams off. Correct. Yeah. It and it doesn't layer. even have to be it does not have to be pretty. Just slice you can and use, dice. Yes. You can use these. Now, I do want to keep the integrity of this collar together. Okay, so what I did before we started, eh, you know, I could do it this way. I'm still going to need that collar. I can do it this way, too. 
And then when it goes on the quilt, it'll be a little bit, you know, cockeyed. But, you know, it'll be turned this way, kind of like. So, but I think it gives it character. So I'm going to show you. It's like, uh-oh, we've got the back of the shirt here. What are we going to do? Um, I'll show you how to put some fabric behind that, just like I did on all of these others. It's basically an applique. I'm going to just cut this up. You're clearly a pro. I don't know if I would <laughs> cut with that much confidence on my t-shirt. I've done it quite a bit. Okay, so that's that's one of them. That, oh, well, wait a minute. Okay. I don't know whether to go fast or slow, Katie, really. <laughs> oh, we're good. So we can... Oops. Okay. Well, we want to go slow enough that we don't cut any fingers off. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> or run yes. over pins and I things. I haven't done that yet. That's on, good. Knock on wood. That's good. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm just, you know, going to use this as a dust cloth sometime. <laughs> <laughs> you end up with a lot of extra fabric when you cut e up your t-shirts, exactly, right? Exactly, exactly. And I, you know, I just kind of, I'm going to leave it like that for just a little bit, okay? Sounds so I'm going to move on to the next one because I kind of want to give you an idea of, you know, how I... So this one may be too big for my... Maybe too big. I don't know. Okay, I can fit it on. So... And I think I'll do it this way as well. And I, I size it up just to, just to make sure that, you know, I know what I need to do in the future. This also has a sleeve motif. Ooh. That'll fit right in one of these squares, like nice. right here. It'll fit right in there. Nice. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use that. Um, and then this one also has something on the back. It may be too big. So what I could do with this, and I teach this in my class as well, I could just use that eye. And I could maybe, you know, sew on something here, applique it onto something, and then use this. And even if you cut off some of that, that lettering, you can still read it, right? So, um... Don't be afraid to do that because I did that with one of Tanner's. I mean, see how the, the you could tell something was down here. You could Ooh. tell because I cut it off way close. But does it look okay when you zoom out? Can't yeah. tell. Yeah, you don't think about it, but you've got the whole motif in there. So that's what I'll do with this. go either way that way and here's my little center square I love these rulers love 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 them because you can fussy cut with the rulers and they come in very handy after we get the SF 101 on the back and after we get it appliqued so um, there's nothing on the back of this one but I do have something on this long sleeve it's probably too long for a yeah it is I don't know what I would do with that I would have to think about that. So, but it says Seahawks, I think. So, but so put that aside. Cool. So, so we're gonna prep one of these. Yes, we're gonna prep this T-shirt right here, and I'm gonna leave it this size. I'm gonna just leave it this size for now. We just came back on. Okay. Yeah. So I think I lost internet one second, but I'm back. I should be back on. Oh, okay. So, it says we're live. <laughs> okay. We'll carry on. Okay, so I'm kind of placing this over, making sure I have enough SF-101, and that's going to cover what I need. Did I decide I was going to go this way? And that's fine. Um, I do want to so, cover the whole thing then. Okay, so you want the SF-101 to cover everything that you're going to be cutting. cutting. It gives, otherwise, see how this rolls? you don't want your t-shirt to roll. So before I make that final cut with this, I want this all stabilized with the SF-101. Okay. Okay. So, um, I might, um, and what I'm gonna do, and you can piece this together too, sorry about this. 
Sorry for the delay. Da, 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 da. Okay, so I can I can just iron it on like that. Now, when I take this over, this has glue on it, kind of like glue. You can kind of feel it. You can feel. That's the rough side. It's the, the rough the... side. Thank you. Yes. And I always forget which side has the glue. It's like oh, it's yeah, the one with the stuff on it. <laughs> yeah, the the rough side. Now you do not want to get this on your ironing board. So what I end up doing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim. What did I do with my scissors? <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Trying to have it real handy, you know? Oh, I'll just do this. I'm going to cut yeah. right along here because it's not going to, it's not going to matter. I did have scissors somewhere. They'll turn up when we least expect them. Right. Are they here? Oh, they're, they're there. Uh, underneath yeah. everything. Found them. So I'm going to just trim because you don't want it sticking over either and you just want to make sure that you have it all stabilized and it doesn't have to be pretty because you know nobody sees this side anyway. And I could show you proof on those strips if you wanted me to. <laughs> well and Linda says we're the only ones who know where our mistakes are anyway. Aww. So Is that know? Linda Dice by or, any chance? Or Linda Faust. Oh Linda yeah, Faust. Okay. You Thank you Linda. Yes. Yep. True that. Okay. so. Got that cut. I keep covering up my scissors. Isn't that great? And by the way, these scissors are great too. Are those the Karen Buckley? Yeah, the Karen oh K Buckleys. Gosh. I love this size. They're just the they're perfect fabulous. scissors, right? Yes. That's what they're called. The yes. Perfect scissors. Yep. Okay, now I don't want to, you know, iron this on on this side. So I'm going to hopefully just turn it over. Come over here. And I don't remember. Did I cut the V? <laughs> <laughs> you did not cut the V of your okay. thing. All right. So is this going to be backwards? Did, did I do this right? Yeah, it'll work. Whew. Okay. I might have to cut the V out. Lisa, I've never seen you work so fast. Actually, it's good. <laughs> I not, always work slow, right? No, no, no. That's not, that's not even what I meant. It's just, it's good. Okay, good. Good. Okay, so yeah, you don't want the interfacing, you know, on there. So I'm just going to fudge this a little bit. As long as it's covering that rectangle. Well, I could just do this. Just do this. <laughs> well, make it work. Yes. Right? I'm always, always, always. Okay, so I want to make sure. Okay. Now I'm going to cut out that V because I do not want to get it on this brand new. That would be bad this brand new ironing mat. Okay, and this is just the SF-101 part. And you always, 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 always want to do the SF-101 before you make your final, final cut with this. Yeah. And so sense? you are ironing on the wrong side of your t-shirt. Correct. Right, because you don't want your SF-101 showing on the front. Right. Okay. Yeah, and while that's heating up a little bit, we'll just kind of show them the back of this a little oh. bit. And see how nice that, you know, that cuts and it just stays nice. It's not rolling under. Is that really it like sense? turns it into um, more of a quilter's cotton or more of a fabric that you can work with. Correct. Right. Just makes yeah, it very see? stabilized. Oh yeah. I love that shark. Isn't that it funny? Is fun. Yes. So you can you can just tell it just it makes it so much nicer to work with. Um, you know, it's not rolling under. And then I do want to show you this. This is what that applique looks like. So mm -hmm. it looks like I might have put maybe some SF-101 behind that just because I wanted it to be a little bit more stable. So you just cut out you, a little piece of fabric to fit there. Correct. And then, yeah, of course um, it's bigger. It's probably, you know, it was probably a big square. And then when I, and I sewed it and then I just trimmed it. That trimmed at last. Sense. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to get my little, this is nice to have just in case because you don't want it on your iron, you don't want it on your ironing surface board. Yes, love pressing mats. Yes. They, they are a must. I think I put optional on my supply list if I put it at all, but you know, they really are kind of a nice must. Okay. Now, now I'm going to add that applique behind there. 
Okay, so see how nice that is? I mean, it's just nice and, whoops. I'm moving fast, I know. Yeah. It's good, but it definitely has a better feel, right? Yes. No rolling edges. Right. Right. And, and I'm going to cut it. It'll be nice and stable. Mm -hmm. So I, I need, you know, kind of a nice big, what I'm probably going to do is go all the way across here. So I have some fabric already. I'm going to put behind there. This is what I'm looking for. Okay. So this is going to be my fabric that I'm going to put behind there. It's real easy peasy. You can see how big it is. And I could put it that way. Is that the right way? No, here it goes this way. This is directional, but it really wouldn't matter. And I do have enough room. Let's, you know, and I use this all the time, as you can see. So, yeah. So if I used this size and just applicated it behind there, and you could even be kind of picky if you wanted that fish right in the center. You know what I mean? That's right. There's no wrong answer with a t-shirt quilt. That's right. It's really about creativity. That is Liz? great. Katie, will you I'm in my class? I'm getting inspired, Lisa, <laughs> really. Yay! Like, wow, I didn't I realize how that. many different options there were. Yeah. Okay, so this is so steam -a And I just, you know, I just cut it and I just rip it off. You have to take off this one paper and it's still sticky. So I'm going to put steam -a seam right here. This is our applique process. It's not pretty. <laughs> I love, this is down and dirty. It's like, rip it, cut it, get it on. <laughs> oh, I should have done this before, huh? Because now I can't get it pulled apart. Oh, da, 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 da. What, wait, you know, this is me at the grocery wait. store right now. When I have a mask on and I'm trying to open up a plastic bag. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I stand at the apples for about 14 minutes. I oh, it. Lisa. <laughs> this is, I, it's just me at the, at the grocery store. Uh-huh. Well, anyway, you kind of get right. the gist, So right? you, you would stick the steam -a seam down. Right. <laughs> yes. Then what would you do? <laughs> I was like, can't get it undone. And then you iron <coughs> with the paper. You go ahead and iron that on. Just kind of, and thank goodness my iron's hot. I thought it was going to be, you know, common t-shirt prep. I know. Because you know? well, I was tripping over stuff, I knocked the... <laughs> pouring the water earlier, that was, <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah, and you let that cool. And pretend that it's all around here, okay? Everybody just pretend, you know, we're going to be first graders again and kindergartners. We're going to be in pretend class. And see how that peels off. And then I'm just basically going to flip it over here. And I'm going to check it again. And see how when I make that final cut... You know, and I'm not going to make that final cut. I might even just set this whole thing to the side. That's right. I think you're going to you take know? a break on this one yeah. <laughs> and, and revisit it, maybe. <laughs> but the steps but, are all there. Right. Exactly. And then I'm probably going to, you know, center it right there. And then it's going to be a sideways just like this. Just like yeah. big red. Yeah. How that is, is that? Does that answer so your question? That's so cool. But I do have to iron this down. So I am going to, oh. I'll do that real quick and then we're done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's, um, right. Cut, measure, cut, iron. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So in a, awesome. in a Sounds perfect attached. world, you know, that would be all applique down. Sweet. And that's how you make t-shirts or prepare t-shirts for a t-shirt. And now everyone's a pro, right? Yes. No, I think yes. they'll need to come to your class for a refresher. Sure, I'd love it. Definitely. I'd love it. I'd cool. love it. Okay. Well, Thank you very it. much. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Oops. Oops.